photo of Fito B. Trenton President Buhari's post telling Nigerians to trust Tunubu and Shitima. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Today, President Buhari flagged off the all-progressive Congress presidential governorship campaign in Adamawa State in the presence of the party's presidential candidate, Ahmed Tunubu, and other party candidate chieftains and party supporters. However, the president took to his social media page to acknowledge the flag of ceremony and indicate that he embraced the message of renewed hope of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Ahmed Tunubu and made it known that Nigeria should, should trust the party candidate and his running mate Kashim Shetima. Muhammad, okay, President Muhammad Buhari's post read on Twitter. It goes thus. I want you all to all wholeheartedly embrace the message of renewed hope on which our candidate and party are campaigning. You can trust Tunubu, the Jacobin of Bogu, and our party's flag bearer and presidential candidate, together with his running mate, Senator Kashim Shitima. However, in responding to the president's message, some of his followers took to the time to share a photo of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, P2B, by indicating that he was a better candidate who could help the country. Some of the reactions that showed the post restocks. Peter B. revived the Liberal Party in just six months, the same way he revived APGA. He revived the youth participation in policies within six months of joining the Liberal Party. It will be of note that Peter B. is a candidate enjoying the support of a majority of Nigerian youth on social media who have chosen him as their preferred candidate. <laughs> Well, uh, Nigerians, yeah, the ball, like I always say, is left. It is not caught. We can decide to kick this ball whatever direction we, are, we want to. That is why I'm also out here saying, let us vote wisely. Hmm? Let us vote wisely. I'm saying this because some people are, are coming out to campaign vigorously. They're coming out to canvas for support. I see them. I see what they do. But the thing is, on election day, you know, the icing on the cake is going to be just like, you know, when you bake a cake, the cake is not going to be looking beautiful. You know, plain cake is not going to be beautiful and enticing. It is when you coat it, when you ice it, when you, you know, decorate it, that is what is going to make the cake come out beautifully. Not understanding that even the icing on the cake is not eatable. It's not, some people don't eat it. It's not edible enough. Some people, you know, they throw it away. But the icing on the cake is going to be what is going to make it presentable. Once, when you see the cake, you go, oh, this cake is beautiful. I hope it's going to taste as delicious as it looks. Do you understand? I'm saying this because a lot of us, we know what is good, but we're not going to do it. Yes. Some people till now, they're yet to get their PVCs, even when they registered for the PVC. Yes, I'm saying this because your effort, you just like you baking a cake and you don't decorate it. Uh, and your, your customer no go taking a plain cake like that. If you're somebody who is a caterer or a baker, it's not possible. So, it is good to come out to campaign. It is good to come out to comment. It is good to come out to like post, to make your candidates trend on social media and all that. But if you do not get your PVT to support your candidate, you saw all those things you did. Whether you attended all the rallies and campaigns, whether you went for almost all the whole state campaigns, I tell you, all your efforts will amount to nothing. Hmm. I just make a remind us. We trusted you and you messed up and now you are telling us to trust another Buhari. God forbid. <laughs> Buhari did well. That is why APC got a crowd. Oh. You are, you are really plain. Not plain, not you play it all this thing. Anywhere they go. Tenebu is experienced to beat foundation laid by Buhari for this country. Okay? Okay. Buhari do not have the morals. I'm telling you. He do not have the morals to tell Nigerians who to trust. These people, CAPs most importantly, they don't have the right. They don't have the morals to come out and tell us uh, this is who to vote for. These people will give them Nigeria on a platter of gold. APC came in 2015 like a beautiful, you know, when did they tell you, say, how do I put it? You know, Nigeria was like a bride and APC came in and 
was Bobo in Nigeria. I said, oh, don't worry. I will buy a mansion for you. I will build a house for you. All the beautiful things of life. I will buy you Brazilian hair. You don't know, say, person where you did with that time. Baby, Nigeria don't know, say, person will be your husband that time. They try for a pass. Baby, PDP. You understand? So after Bobo in APC, see what they don't. After APC Bobo, see where Nigeria don't reach. You know? Even to go back to that person, that person that you were in yeah, Nigeria, that place we were before, 2015, where a lot of things were still more considerable. Our Naira still had value. One Naira was at 200 Naira to a dollar. Yes. At that time, you know, rags and um, prices of goods, we are still okay. Somebody who earned 18,000, the basic salary, then, you know, you could, could put a lot together with that 18,000 than the 30,000 scenario we have now. I cannot even buy you one bag of rice. Okay. Obi has, has not got what it takes to govern Nigeria. His outing in the number was a small one, one tribe, one religion state, and was not encouraging to trust the country as big with multiple tribes religion to a beginner. Well, I'll keep saying this. There are plenty, plenty of times, hmm? there are plenty, plenty of times where in currently today, we'll see people who are novices do better. I've given us a scenario of people who in government, they are actually like, um, uh, maybe let's say 10 years, 10 years in government. I mean, 10 years in a particular office. Maybe you go there, you are a fresher, fresh out of NYC. You go to an interview, you know, and you were picked for the, you, you, you actually got the job. And you go in there and you see someone who has been 10 years in that company. Wow. The person has a lot of experience. But you come in and small you, you wanted to make sure you do better for that country. You put in your work, you put in time, you develop yourself, you do what you were supposed to do. You understand? You didn't just come in and look and relax, I've got in the job. You keep getting better. You did so much that in two years, eh, they see you, don't they notice you. Let me put it like that. Board members don't they hear who is this person? Before you know it, I tell you, I kid you not. That person that came in and was a fresher and was is constantly is doing what he's supposed to do. He has set goals already for himself and the organization. He knows what he wants to do. He's already doing them, even though he has no experience. Will end up being more. Before you know it, will end up being more. Um, how do I put it? Before you know it, the position self gone. It will gap you. You will be saying that is just it. So it's you should not depend on. He does not have the capacity. He does not have the ability. People who have experience, we have given them opportunity. They have messed it up. When Barry was coming in, they said oh, he is an ex-military head of state. You understand? So he has the experience, and then. We gave Nigeria to him and voila, look at where we are. He don't carry us go well, no, no. So come 2023, we're going, to, we're going to try something we have not done before. We're going to vote for someone. Instead of voting for popularity or experience, we're going to vote for someone who really has a hunger. It is better you vote for somebody who has a hunger to do something. Do you understand? <laughs> vote for somebody who has a hunger to turn around Nigeria to make things work because he and the person should also be competent, credible and capable of doing these things. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.